hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to do hand landmark detection using media pipe in your next.js application uh, now you don't need to use next.js you can use any web framework if you want to uh, like the next.js code which we will be using uh, will be very minimum uh, if you want you can use vanilla html css javascript as well so first i'll show you guys the output so here is my app uh, running so i'll just quickly refresh this and here i have one hand and if I click on the identify button here, you can see it was able to identify uh, this particular hand. Uh, now I will uh, select some other URL. So I'll just select this URL as well. So I'll just close this for now. And uh, here I will enter that URL as well. Okay, and here this is for previous landmark, hand landmark. So I'll just quickly refresh this. And if I click on identify, here you can see it was able to identify this as well. So yeah, let's see how to do this. Uh, firstly, I'm using Next.js, but again, you can use any web frameworks which you want to. And given that I'm loading this uh, images from a uh, remote URL, you will have to go to next.config.mjs. And here I have added host name as star star. Uh, that means uh, allow all the uh, domains uh, typically you should not do this in production but yeah for development it's fine uh, you should only add those domains which uh, you know uh, like uh, from where your image would be loaded otherwise you can just download the image place in inside your public folder and then you can display it next you will have to go to package.json and here you will have to install this dependency media pipe task vision so whatever would be the latest version at the time you watching this video install that next inside page.tsx uh, given that most of the uh, pages inside next.js are a static rendered or server side render uh, we want this to be client side render because uh, we are downloading a bunch of things so that's why this is very next.js specific if you are using some other framework you don't need this use client thing uh, whatever uh, is uh, like whatever framework you are using uh, make sure it is uh, run on the client side uh, next uh, he, here um, I have imported some uh, imports from our media pipe task vision and from react I have imported use effect and use ref now I have created a hand landmarker variable and two re uh, refs one for image and one for canvas and once use effect is uh, called which is called automatically once our page load I am just uh, downloading all the dependencies uh, like uh, one is for vision task file file set resolver so for that you can just uh, pass this particular url again you can change this version to whatever is the current version at that time of you watching the video and for hand landmarker we need to download the model so you can easily download this model from this particular path once uh, that is once this hand landmarker is particularly initialized in i have taken one div so inside that i have taken another div which is a relative and here I, I can't uh, really use this image component from next.js uh, like if you try to use this image component from next.js and try to click the identify button it's not a, it's not working so i'm not sure whether the issue is with the image component of next.js or whether it is from media pipe that's why i have to use the normal html img tag for displaying the image and uh, here uh, i have set our image ref and i have also used one canvas which is on top of our image that's why the position is absolute and the left and uh, top are zero so that it aligns to the left and top of our image element and the uh, width and height are also the same so if you see over here the width and height i'm give, have given the same thing next uh, uh, here in the inside the button click i'm just checking whether the image ref and hand landmarker are properly initialized then if yes then i'm calling the detect method and i'm passing our image ref dot current and if this handedness dot length is greater than zero then we get the handedness uh, from handle and marker dot handedness now you can print this also if you want to like if you see i mean it's not perfect but here you can see it is uh, telling right even though there are two hands uh, I think this one is left still it is saying right but I think uh, this library is mostly for uh, hand landmark detection if you want uh, which hand is been detected I already have a video on gesture recognition as well so you for that you can use that particular library uh, then here I have a uh, checking whether our canvas ref has been properly set if yes then I am getting the converse context for 2d 
and here i'm just uh, looping over all the hand landmarks and uh, for once you have start looping over it uh, like okay i'm not sure why i'm using it this two times i think i have made a mistake uh, wait uh, i'll just comment this out comment this out okay let me just check if it's working fine or not i click on identify yeah it's working fine let me check for the other image as well okay for the other image i can go over here from this i have just copy pasted the image link okay I'll just paste it over here and if i click on refresh i'll click on identify okay it is able to identify okay so here you don't need this for loop okay so just ignore this here we are getting the uh, generating uh, like creating object for our drawing utils uh, uh, which we had imported from media pipe then we are looping over hand landmarker result dot landmarks and we are just uh, calling uh, drawing utils dot draw connectors we are passing our landmarks then hand connect hand connections as well and we are just passing our color as well as line width similarly for uh, this as well for drawing the land hand marks uh, we are again passing the color as well as the line width now you can change the color and line width to whatever you feel like and here is the just uh, the identify button text uh, yeah uh, that's it thank you for watching bye